Hello, Nick Miller again, uh, continuing my video vlog on YouTube. Last time I got done talking about my trip to Peru. This time I want to talk a little bit about my time spent in Mexico. In Mexico, there are some creatures. Some creatures known as duendes. You never heard of duendes. Try typing it in to Google. D U E N D E S Duendes. These creatures are like little known creatures, but they're said to be even uglier and quicker and almost magical in how fast they are. The only time you can really catch one is if he's really drunk and he forgets to be hidden. And I actually ran into a person that says she had ran into one on that occasion. He was sitting in the corner and she, he saw her and he was really drunk and he just disappeared. There's other stories I have about Duendes after living in Mexico. One involves a yellow lighter. If anybody knows me, you know I take good care of my lighters. I buy good lighters and I watch them after them because if you buy bad lighters, they're easy to forget. So I had this yellow lighter, yellow clipper that I'd, I'd had for maybe a month or so. In lighter years, that's a long time. Well, either way, me and my friend were getting ready to leave to go to the bar. And I was the only one there. My friend was with me, and we were like, okay, where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? We looked everywhere. Couldn't find my lighter. Left. Oh, I forgot something. Came back. After I locked the door, opened the door, walked in, me and my friend walked in, and the lighter was sitting in the middle of the table, straight up. Like, just standing straight up. Couldn't have missed it anyway, the two of us. And we walked in, and it was just sitting there. That was one story. When they tend to, like, to hide things and put them back in different places. So it's hard to think of exact stories. But another story. My friend lost his uh, computer cable for about a month. Could not find his computer cable. Looked everywhere. Could not find it. Never had it. Had, was without a computer for a month. One day, he looks in his computer bag. It's in his front pocket. Says he's checked that pocket 20 times in the past month. It was just sitting there. So that was just two quick stories. One more story. One of my friends. His name's Pollo. He said his dad, when he was, when he was a kid, his dad felt something playing with his nose hairs in the middle of the night. So he reached up and grabbed it. And he said it felt like a child's arm. Held on really tight. And all of a sudden, something else grabbed his, uh, grabbed his arm and squeezed as tight as it could. And he let go out of pain. And the next morning, he had an imprint of a small hand on his arm, bruised. Now... That's the story of Pollo as a child, but still, if you go to Mexico, chances are if you go to some of the regions that I've been to, especially in the Nayarit region, ask about Duendes. I would say 90% of the locals believe in them, and I believe in them wholeheartedly. So if you are ever in that region and you have something missing, or if you're anywhere, Duendes could be anywhere in the world, it's just there where they believe in them and label them. So if you ever swear I put my keys over here, but they end up over here, maybe it was a duende. All right. Love you guys. Peace and love.